Hi everybody, today I've chosen to do three cards. Last night in the live session was absolutely wonderful. Thank you for being there and all for your best wishes and your donations. Thank you my darlings. So I'm celebrating today with my new deck, the Sham Mystical Shaman Oracle. And the first card that we have is the staff. Okay, the staff. So this is morning. You can take the energy as it comes. You can pick a card if you like. And I've just done it morning, afternoon and evening. So we have the staff to start off with. Now the uh, symbol of the, the, the meaning of this card is the staff is the symbol of authority. It holds the power to temper extremes. The staff helps you find the right course of action. The way, in other words. It can also aid you to maintain your balance after you begin to walk in that direction that you choose. It all depends what kind of path you choose or which way you're going. Like Moses carried a serpent staff through the desert and with it he could summon the power of nature to heal or call plagues. So you can, with this uh, authoritative staff, it is a symbol, it is metaphysically, you can use it as well to call upon what you wish to achieve. It also invites you to know how to flow easily between polarities, how to weigh all possibilities and instinctively select the right path. Trust your inner wisdom. In other words, trust your intuition and take the first step on your path and your journey that your heart has already embarked upon. Use the power of the staff to unite what appears to be divided, to find the delicate balance between will and surrender. So try to balance yourself today, my darling, by steering your ideas and your intuition into one so they will be united. Then the second uh, card, and that's for the afternoon, is the witness. And the witness of, observes without engaging in any action. So look before you take action. By cultivating inner stillness, we are able to assess any situation from a higher perspective, get an other, uh, an, an other view on things and make better decisions when you take your time. In other words, don't do things in haste, otherwise you have to repent in leisure. When we can be present for someone else's difficulties with stillness, then we are able to truly hear them and give better advice. Sometimes we can be so still that we are a mirror for the other. Then through our presence, they receive their own answers. Advice is the witness that has been by your side all along is now ready to become your ally. You thought you were the doer, but today you discover that things happen when you get out of the way. Witness, create a creation unfolding before you. Change reality by finding stillness and letting your true intent reveal. And then we have fire number 19. So you will get, an, there will be an ending to difficulties and there will be a new beginning. You've got also a 10 here, 64, an ending, a new beginning. You will find your balance. Number 51 becomes a 6. So now we're going to fire. And fire also represents uh, uh, action. Fire consumes anything that it touches. The flames remind us 
of the imper impermanent nature of reality and how situations can quickly transform into beauty or chaos. Fire is passion. Its dancing flames invite us to reach to the sky. Warmth and light are heavenly, yet too much heat can scorch us. To fully step into the energy of fire is to be utterly transformed, like the phoenix arising from the ashes. The advice is warm your hands and your heart by your inner fire. Let it burn away your hardships. Let it consume your pain, your sorrow. Has life become too rigid, too cold, or too superficial? Light can can, uh, light a candle or make a bonfire and toss into the flames everything that has become stiff and painful. Give it all to the fire for rapid transformation. Set your life on fire. So let's have a look at the three cards. Try to get your balance. Let go of the old. Bring your intuition and your thoughts together. Be united. Look at what is happening around you and where you want to go. Choose the path and take your staff and maintain the balance. Okay, you, you have seen, um, you have contemplated or meditated, thought about an idea or the way you want to go, which path you want to take. But you must also leave the past the past, okay? And so that you can maintain balance and keep on going on the road that you've chosen. So choose wisely. Wish, if you are wishing something or you want to, uh, to reach a goal, then be careful what you wish. Don't do it in a hurry because you'll have to repent in leisure. So start a new beginning. Start doing what you wish to do or where, what goal you wish to reach. You've started, the, you've started on this path, now carry on and take it easy, step by step. And that will bring fire back into your life and will balance out the boredom or balance out the negative with the positive. I hope you can, uh, it resonates with you. So find what you want to do, make the decisions, evaluate every step of the way and then you will remain in balance and you'll bring in the passion, be it love or passion for something you wish to do or to reach or to fulfill an idea into practice. That is the card for today. Enjoy your day and be blessed, stay safe and I'll see you tomorrow. Take care. Bye-bye.